Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jackie Powell with Entertainment Scoop. We're here at BET's Fan Fest. We're here to talk to some of your favorite artists to see what music they're coming out with and much more. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? BET Music Matters. Are you ready for a good show? Really hard I'm, on I'm it. working on a new album. It's called Dreams Divided. Mm -hmm. um, I just put out an EP. It's called Peach Moon. And Peach Moon was like a live album that I did. Mm -hmm. You know, like a lot of live instrumentation. Oh, wow. Um, How was it doing that? Was it different? It was very different for yeah. me. Um, I had to really actually go in the studio and really, really think because I just wanted to challenge myself on a different level. Mm -hmm. I've been playing the piano, um, trying to, you know, really show people how serious about my craft I am. Yeah. You know, not just being a singer, but being an entertainer. You know, I look at people like Alicia Keys and John Legend and I say, mm -hmm. you know what? It's time for me to go to that level. So, yes. but um, Dreams Divided, the sixth album, it's a combination of Peach Moon and what I'm, what I've done previously. Mm -hmm together you know I want to be I want to make that good soulful music but at the same time I want to do music for the youth so yeah. just putting both of those uh, together. together and dreams divided that's why I named the dreams divided yeah, because I, I like have dreams that. of being you know doing this type of music yeah. and this type so right. come together and do both of them one last thing what's one thing that um, your fans don't know about you when okay I graduated from Clark Atlanta University um, what'd you go to school for mass communications so, so I should be. Yeah, you could be interviewing me. Who knew he went to school for this? Yeah. So, how did you get so beautiful? Here he goes again. I can't. I can't deal with this. Be talking. Back yeah. over for me. <laughs> So telling you just got off that stage. How was it performing together for the BET? We had so much fun. Yeah. Like they, the crowd was crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's like something about getting up on the stage is so liberating and so much fun. And then we just like vibe out with each other. It's right. just fun. So you guys are the first girl group with ADD, right? Yes, yes. we are. How did that come about? Uh, I mean, we met Steve Rifkin almost three years ago. Yeah. And then once he partnered up with Russell Simmons, he took us. And now we're here, signed with him and Capitol Records. Is that any pressure for you guys? Like first girl group, like on the, any pressure? Not really, I feel like we're just gonna do what we love to do and yeah. that's yeah. that's all it is. Well said. Well what's said. the best part of being about a gr girl group? Like what's the most fun so far? Uh, I mean, we get to always have friends. <laughs> <laughs> you get to do what you love with your friends. And you guys have kind of like a TLC, you know, feel, right? Yeah. That is it. If you guys could break it down, who would be who? Who would be who from TLC? Uh, I mean, you have your crazy and your sexy and your cool for sure. So. so who's crazy, who's sexy, and who's cool? Uh, I guess I'm the cool one. The cool one? I guess I'm the crazy one. Crazy. I guess they're calling me the sexy one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me see your sexy stare in the camera then. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That just exactly. happened way too perfectly, <laughs> <Exactly>. right? <laughs> We're here with the talented Mila J. You just got off stage and you killed it. Thank you. Can you show us one of those dance moves one more time? Which one you want to know? I want to see the one where you like break it down and you're like crunk it. I, I don't know. I can't do it. I don't know which one. Like, like you were like, I don't want to make it. Later when we go to the car and I'll show you the car okay. part. You did the whole car part. <laughs> so we got a snippet of your album. What else do we have to look forward to coming on this one? Um, well, yeah, like you said, the MILA is coming in September. Yeah. Um, I have a new single, DJ Muscle Record. That's crazy. It's called My Man. I can't wait for all the ladies to hear it. I think it's going to be an anthem. Can you give us like a little snippet of it? Of course I can't. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I tricked you. I like, no. Of course I can't. What a team. No, no, it's coming real soon. Though, but yeah. I'm, I'm going to be really excited for you guys to hear it. Yeah. What did you learn making this album? Um, I feel like I learned a lot about myself because I had to take a break for a minute and I started writing a lot more. So I just felt like I was able to open up as because I'm naturally a Scorpio. So I like to like really not talk about a lot of stuff. But I was like, hey, you know, why not? It's music. You can, you know, speak through that. And so I yeah. feel like I really just came into my own as far as that aspect. And um, yeah. 
Yeah, now I'm here talking to you. Uh, and now you're here talking to me. <laughs> Can we ever expect maybe you and your sister working together? Is that something that's close to your heart that you want to do? Oh, well, of course I would want to. Of course, that's yeah. my baby sister. We haven't yet, but, you know, you never know. Stay tuned. <laughs> I, think, I think when it makes sense, we definitely will. Yeah. And I feel like you wear the most, like, the things you make wear, you make them look so good. Like, you're wearing, Thank like, you. just sweatpants, and you look awesome in them. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a natural tomboy, so I'm all about comfort. Like, if yeah. I'm not comfortable in it, like, you don't wear it. I can't. Because, I don't know, I like to move too much, and then I dance too, so it's like, I have to be comfortable, but, I like it. yeah. But when it comes time Yo, for, like, the red carpet, maybe day. you dress yeah, up a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no heels on stage ever? No, I actually don't even own a pair of heels. What? That's bad, right? Yeah, I don't even own, like, platform tennis shoes. She doesn't right? own one pair of heels. No. I don't believe it. I really don't. Really? And I, it was funny as I just realized that, like, two weeks ago, I was talking to someone on the radio, and I was like, I really don't have any heels. Like, Oh, my goodness. Well, how about the high heel tennis shoes? At least one of those? I don't even have those. What's going on here? <laughs> I like it, though. You're setting the new sexy. We have to go shoe shopping. You, you, you got to take me heel shopping. <laughs> So what do you want people to take from when they hear this album? What do you want them to leave with? Um, I just want them to get a sense of really like who I am and just, you know, I was inspired a lot. I loved R&B like in the 90s, that type of vibe. So I definitely inspired a lot of the sound, like kind of with the smoke drink breakup, it reminds people of that 90s yeah. vibe. I just want people to feel good. I remember music in the 90s, I felt like, it, once again, it wasn't too serious. Like even yeah. people was loving it, was just like, I felt like they had a good time, the TLCs, the Janice. Right. And, it just, you feel good about that. So yeah. I just want people to feel good, you know what I'm saying? I love that. Yeah. And be entertained when they come to the show and just rock with me and party with me. Right. Yeah. Which one was your favorite artist? And who do you want to see at the BET Awards? There's so many to pick from, I don't even know who I want to see, but I want to see them all. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to Entertainment Scoop, and we'll see you guys next time.